Our group's project was to compare and contrast Chardonnay with and without malolactic fermentation. Chardonnay grapes are grown in many different wine re regions, but they originated from northern France. Chardonnay berries are small and are light green to yellow when ripe. The berry flavors tend to be quite neutral, meaning that we would expect our vinification techniques to have a large impact on the final wine. Some characteristics of Chardonnay include apple, citrus, white fruit, and spice. We did four grape analyses of Chardonnay from September 5th to October 6th that evaluated the grapes and measured the bricks, pH value, and titratable acidity of the grape juice. The results displayed an increasing trend in bricks of the grape juice as shown in this graph. The pH values of the first three evaluations were very consistent, around 3.1, while the last one went up to 3.24. However, the titratable acidity was not very consistent, ranging from 9 to 13.5 grams per liter. Throughout the process, the pulp went from slightly hard and a bit tart to very sweet, and the seed's color changed from green to brown. We started by sorting our grapes because some of them had rot. Then we used the destem and crusher to break open our grapes and remove the stems. We then moved into pressing quickly to reduce the contact time with the skins. We used the basket press, which is not the most efficient. It took several passes through in order to fully extract the juice. After pressing, we left the juice to settle at 4 degrees Celsius to remove sediment and anything that had made it through the press before fermentation. Our initial bricks concentration was 22 degrees, which equates to about 13% alcohol. We decided to use the QA23 yeast strain because it produces fruit aromas and is compatible with MLF. It is a relatively fast fermenter and has low nitrogen needs. In order to inhibit any unwanted microbial growth, we added 50 ppm of SO2 in the non-MLF fermentation and MBR31 malolactic bacteria in the MLF fermentation. We set our tanks to ferment at 16 degrees C. Although we did a sample for yam, the results did not come back in time for when a third of the sugar was depleted. Therefore, we just added a quarter of a gram per liter of juice of Fermade K. The fermentation took approximately a week and a half to come to completion. Both the MLF wine and the non-MLF wine presented many bubbles during the first several days. Then the bubbles disappeared as the fermentation slowed. The results have shown that the bricks of the MLF and non-MLF juice decreased at similar rates that went down from 22 degree bricks on the first day to around zero in 12 days. We used the Levin MBR31 bacteria for malolactic fermentation and we co-inoculated with our yeast. The bacteria addition is known to increase the buttery flavor of a wine as well as increase the body without diminishing the fruit flavors. Malolactic bacteria consume malic acid, characterized as a harsh acid, and turn it into lactic acid, which is a softer acid, and release carbon dioxide. As you can see, during the process of MLF, the malic acid content of our wine decreased. The initial concentration is after fermentation, and then the points are shown until the completion of MLF. The biggest difference that our team found between the two wines was in the mouthfeel. The MLF wine had a much rounder mouthfeel because of the decrease in malic acid. Cheers!